just work differently summit. He's actually an amazing individual, but let's let's just take a quick look at his stats. Uh, you can see 355 jobs completed, over 3,000 hours, 317 five-star reviews, perfect reviews. I mean, 100% recommended. Like this is you, you can't buy this stuff. He's doing an amazing, amazing, high-quality job. And I'm just gonna read this quote, Sharif. This is a real quote from his feedback. Sharif, you did an amazing job. Your incredible eye for detail brought my photos back to life. You're really, you, are, you really are extremely talented, and I definitely will use your services again. Did I mention what you did was incredible? Thank you again, warmest regards, Joanne. This is a real testimony of Sharif's work. So just an example, this is one of your colleagues, someone in this audience, who's delivering high quality work and making clients all over the world happy, time and time again, and you can do it too. And many others on Elance are doing it the same. I just did. I just pulled a quick picture and just pulled up Bangladesh freelancers and saw how many people were delivering great work. Look at all these five-star ratings, high ratings. You guys are doing an amazing job delivering work. So going back, uh, you know, one of the things we have this homepage and we are focusing on freelancers. And since since this has been such an amazing trip, uh, you know. I, I've been working with our team back in San Francisco, and we decided since this is our new homepage, we're going to also create another variation of the homepage featuring Sh Sharif and the Bangladesh freelancers on our homepage. <laughs> really exciting stuff. You, you know, we are truly dedicated to the Bangladesh freelancer market here. So now that I've talked about Elance and a lot of the statistics, let's talk about the big picture. Let's talk about not just Elance, let's talk about online work, online freelancing, what you guys are doing today. The Stephanie Industries analysis, uh, they, they said in a, in a report, 15 years ago this industry segment didn't even exist, but today it generates about one billion dollars in global revenues. One billion dollars. I don't even know how much that is because it's so much money. One billion dollars. And that's the combined value of what all of our, our you know, Elance, Odesk, Freelancer, 99designs, all the players are contributing to this new economy of one billion dollars. It's tr truly amazing. But what's even better, let's think even bigger. U.S. businesses alone, this is, let's just talk about the United States. U.S. businesses alone spent an estimated $243 billion on independent contractors in 2009. That's 2009, that's three years ago, $243 billion. So that dwarfs what, what, what the market is today. So it's, it's, just to give you some perspective, online platforms today, $1 billion. Boom. Estimated contingent labor in U.S. alone is $273 billion. That is the opportunity that we have together out there to capture. And I know all, you know, all the other platforms, they, they see it too. And it's not about, you know, yes, we're competing with each other, but you know what? There's so much out there, $273 billion in the United States alone and, and more around the world. So truly, truly an opportunity out there. And again, like if you feel like freelancing is too difficult or too hard or there's not enough money out there, this tells you otherwise. There's plenty of money. So moving forward, the Elance vision, what we, what we, you know, what we think about when we go home at night, why we go to work, and you know, why we make, why we do what we do. One day, one in two people will work online. That's one out of every two people. And it's, it's just going to happen. By 2020, half of the population is going to be used to working online. And millions of businesses will hire through the workplace with the best selection of talent, jobs, and tools to get the job done. So, now, now that I've set the, set the stage, shown the marketplace, how truly big it is, I have a letter to the Bangladeshi freelancers. It goes, Dear people of Bangladesh, we together know that you're highly skilled, well-educated, and are capable of delivering the highest quality work in the world. Together, let's let the world know how talented and skilled you are, that you, will, you truly are the next Asian tiger, the Bengal tiger. So I, I'd, like to ask you to, I'd like to ask you, let's all say this together, let the world know. When I say Bangladesh, you say freelance. Bangladesh! Yes. Bangladesh! Yes. Bangladesh! Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I, really, I really appreciate it. I like to thank Digital World for having me here. I'd like to thank um, Basis for inviting me to come out here and speak. It was truly an honor, truly an amazing experience. And I am so glad to have met many of you and, and learned about your online experiences today. Uh, thanks, Alex, for inspiring me. Uh, and also to be on time. <laughs> so,
Now we'll like to open up the floor for uh, question. So how many of you? So the persons who have actually put questions in the last session, please give opportunity to others. Okay? So take a My name is Monty Hello. The question is very simple and this is very important for us. My question is, those who are talented, young and student like us and want to join Elan's students or Odex. Mm -hmm. Now question is, personally I want to build up my career about freelancing and freelance. So, I th so our question is, please give me an instruction or suggestion uh, well, how we can join freelance and police. Thank you. Absolutely. I actually like it if you join Elance, but <laughs> I really appreciate it. But you know, I, I think this, is, this works for all the platforms. There's a lot of similarities. Uh, one of the things, you know, everyone here has skills. Everybody, right? Like SEO, marketing, writing, whatever. But the one thing that I think a lot of people trip up on is that online work, it's, it's kind of different, it's a foreign concept. You have to learn a lot of new things, how to talk to your clients, how, you know, how to be on time, how to, how to make sure you're communicating effectively, how you're representing yourself. And like, there's a lot of things in online work that, that can be very, very complicated. So, uh, you know, what we're doing, I mean, this is why we're committed to, to Bangladesh, this thing, why we hired Cider, is that he's gonna host local training sessions and we're gonna provide online materials in Bengali to, explain and help people figure out how does online work and how can I offer my skills online. And so we are definitely committed to providing these resources. That's why we hired Insider and that's why we're going to open an office, a uh, small office in Bangladesh. And, and we're here to stay. So. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alami. Uh, I started to work in Elias uh, two months ago. I have already done my uh, job successfully, but uh, uh, but on the while uh, applying for a job uh, for a free user, there is some categories, and uh, free user only allowed to apply with one category, right? So no, when we apply no, for uh, a, a job, but uh, we see that client are um, uh, client are uh, posting job uh, same job in different categories. For example, uh, when I try to um, apply for a job, that's supposed to be a, a class banner. But we, uh, I see that uh, this class banner job in um, programming category and also in design category. So if I want to apply for this uh, banner job. Uh, from uh, program programming category, I cannot apply in that. So, what's the solution for that? You know, that's a really good question. Um, and something I feel very strongly about because I've been with Elon for four years. I've seen a lot of the things, and you know, I've heard a lot of the same same feedback. The category structure, yeah, it's, it's something that um, we know about. And you know, honestly, it's going to change, and we're going to change it. It's a matter, you know, it's a huge architectural change. But we are committed to changing it. We are going to change it in the future. And we know that it's, it's hindering online work. It's, it's not allowing people like you to connect to the jobs. And that's ultimately what we want to do. So uh, it's definitely something that we're working on. And we plan to change it in the future. So, 
Thank you for giving me the opportunities. Uh, I uh, I would like to ask the question that uh, we are we are some of, some of my friends and me we are working for all uh, for most of the freelance platforms for about one year. So if we want to build an organization, we have to create a new account for it, or there is another way to merge all the account in one. Actually, no. You don't have to. You don't have to create a new account. Um, you can actually do both uh, freelancing and uh, posting jobs from a single account. So there's no problem there. Uh, you know, just another example of this is that Sharif, the guy that I mentioned before. You know, he's he, he's been doing incredible work by himself, but he's been doing so much work, good work online, that he's hired a staff of 11 people, created his own business, and hires 50 freelancers on Elance because he's working so much now. And so it's truly like he started as a single man with a single set of skills, and now he's grown his business by not only working online, but but, free, uh, but posting jobs and hiring other people to help and uh, build his business. So it's absolutely, absolutely possible. You just use the same account and start posting jobs, and you can hire people. Thank you very much. I have one question to you. Uh, you <laughs> First time you say good presentation to us for Ilan. So my question, Ilan, Bangladesh is now going to a tiger. So uh, as like that, Ilan is a marketplace for job. So, so your company have any plan to decide a set up an office in Bangladesh? So any small small office where we are transaction everything, any problem, any working, any account suspended, any problem we are going to talk to there and problem solver. So any short place office, Bangladesh office setup, you have any plan in your company? So um it's a great question. Um, you know before I had come to come to Bangladesh, like we knew that this was a hot market um, and you know we were thinking like oh maybe we should open an office. But now that we're here, now that we have cider and, and now that I've seen everyone here we're definitely opening an office here, and Cider is going to be championing that whole thing. It's, it's, it's not if, it's when. It's, it's when it's going to happen. So just keep your eyes peeled. It's going to happen. We are very, very, very dedicated to the Bangladesh market. I mean, that's why they sent two of us here, me and Chetzel. <laughs> really, really, actually, the very, very high official level people from uh, Elance, they have come here to just attract this thing and to organize this thing. It really actually demonstrates the high level commitment that Elance has for Bangladesh. So I really thank. I thank you for letting us come here. I really appreciate it. I have the time of my life. So, uh, can I question you? Tala, how many of you have question? Acha, we can. Acha, mask can be worn. Tapra no of you can. My name is Kumar uh, Kobi. Uh, before one month, I have created uh, an events account, and I think that. Uh, there are a lot of market uh, applications, uh, uh, mark, uh, app, uh, uh, jobs. Uh, I want to, uh, my question is, that when I turn into your account, that I have seen that uh, uh, your minimum rate is maybe $3 per hour. But in Odex or others, I see that we can apply for a job only $2 or $1 per hour. But uh, I think that uh, your uh, rate, minimum rate uh, on maybe uh, three hours, if uh, I am correct or not. So why it is? If it is maybe blue, I think it is better or, uh, to do the jobs. Or why it has been created, uh, it has been uh, given like three dollars. Yeah, that's a great, that's a really good question. Thanks for asking that. So yeah, we do have minimum rates. They are three dollars an hour and then twenty dollars for a fixed price job. And the reason why we do that is because we, you guys are skilled. You guys have so many different skills. You're very capable people. And the quality work, the quality clients that come through, high quality clients, they shouldn't be paying skilled people like you under $3 an hour. But it's, it just doesn't make sense. So what we try to do, yeah, I mean, you guys are skilled. You guys deserve more than that. So what we do, you know, what we do is, you know, by, by installing this, uh, you know, minimum rate, it allows us to attract higher quality clients, clients that are more serious about making payments to their, to their freelancers and, and understanding what the true value of your skills are. That, that's why we do it, so. Okay.
first of all, I would like, like to thank you very much for such an inspirational speech. And my question is, when we are starting as a freelancer, the, uh, it's like what I actually want to know, what's the best way to attract the people who are going to actually hire us? Is it the skill tests or is it building my profile in a nice way? I, what I'd like to say is that there are lots of tips on the site which are really helpful to understand how to make a great profile or something like that. But I would feel better if you really tell us something about it. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the biggest challenges for people as they, you know, adopt one of these new online platforms is how to get started. And, uh, you know, again, it's, it's another one of those things that, you know, they haven't, you know, a lot of people haven't done it before. And so, uh, you know, there's, there's the obvious basics, which are create a really amazing profile. That means no typos, being really thorough, and being really genuine about your services and who you are. I think a lot of clients, people are smart and, and they can understand, like, when someone has dedicated the time to create a great profile. Again, um, also, skill tests, certifications, they help a lot. They, they do help. So taking some time to add some credibility to your uh, profile really does help. But the most important thing, I think the most important thing to get clients' attention is the proposal. That's the thing that sets the first impression. A lot of times, we know that clients look through very quickly, and when they're evaluating each proposal, they want to see something genuine. They want to see something real, and they don't want to see something that's just copy-paste, hello, sir, like, I can do this and this. It's, it's more about understanding what they need and make, making sure that you let them know that you will be able to deliver it. That's, that's really, really important. Don't copy and paste your proposals. Make them unique, and, and, and your clients will definitely know. And, you know, this is one of the things, you know, these, these concepts, these, these, uh, these strategies to work, winning your first job or winning work on Elance, it is, you know, it, it, it is a little bit, um, you know, it can be difficult for some. But, you know, Cider, that's why he's here. He's going to organize these meetings, these continual groups where people, both Elancers that have gotten many jobs, like Sharif, or new people in Bangladesh, and he's going to get them together and talk about what works, what doesn't work, and how uh, everyone can start earning more earning more and getting more jobs on Elance. Again, $273 billion out there, uh, and so that's why we're, we're, we're committed to this. Can we ask a question, Corbin? Okay, blue, blue, yeah, head part. Thank you. I'm in Bangladesh, I'm Corbin. Okay, just enjoy, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
সো এখন লিডারদের প্রশ্ন লিডারদের কাছে আমরা কিভাবে যাব যদি একজন বা পাশ থেকে করেন তাহলে পরের জন ডান পাশে কেউ সামনের থেকে হলে পরের জন পিছনে এখন কার কার মাথায় প্রশ্ন আছে কার কাছে প্রশ্ন সেটা বলো অথবা জেনারেল প্রশ্ন হলে সেটাও বলতে পারো
things you are highlighting most. My, it's my pleasure to meet you because I have a great interest in designing, but I don't know how to win a contest because there are many things in a design. So what can I use and highlight the most thing that can I do in a contest? I think the question is like which which is the most important factor for winning a particular uh, competition. So. Okay, so uh, there's a, a whole lot of things, but basically uh, I would start with uh, you know understand what your design style is. Uh, everyone has a different design style. Um, you know the, the example that I showed you. You know that that guy was great at character illustrations. Uh, you know if Character illustrations don't interest you, then you know, don't try and do character illustrations. You know, stay good at what you're strong at and find, you know, there are 1,500 open projects. You know, take some time to find which project is the right match for you uh, and don't worry about the other ones. You know, some, leave them to somebody else. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's first step. Second step uh, would be to you know, read the design brief, you know, very, very carefully. You know, pay attention to what the customer is asking for, uh, and if it's not clear, you know, ask a question so that the customer uh, can can clarify what it is that they're looking for. Um, and then third, you know, after you've submitted a design to a contest, uh, you know, listen carefully to the feedback from the customer uh, and make sure that you know you incorporate that. And you know, you don't need to spam customers with you know a hundred different designs in the contest because you know that's that's not going to uh, get you, uh, you know, a, a whole lot of uh, success. Uh, but instead, you know, really think about what it is, and, and you know, like I explained before, you know, tell the story about your design as well. You know, sell it to the customer. Uh, and then, you know, fifth is just practice, practice, practice. You know, look at what other designers are doing. Uh, you know, it's an open platform. That, that's the great thing. So as a designer. You can actually, when you're browsing contests, you can look at the finished contests and see you know, what design did that customer actually end up awarding as the winning design. And then next to it, you know, what was their design brief? What did they ask for at the beginning? And you, so you can compare those two things and you can, you know, by looking at a number of different contests, start to you know, draw the link between the winning design and the brief and then use that in your own design process. Hello. Hi. What would you suggest to design successfully in your in your platform, Nineteen and Design? Newbie designer. What is your tips for new designers? To be uh, successful in your marketplace. Yeah. So basically, I mean everything I just uh, said in the last response. Um, but you know, like basically start with this page. This is what I would do. Go to nineteenhundreddesigns.com uh, and then look for sign up as a designer, and you'll you'll come to this page. I want uh, for suggestion actually. Your what, what is your suggestion? He just gave me another suggestion in the last response. Actually. Okay, okay. So we should have an submit a concept and then after four days the contest holder chooses up to six designers uh, who have shown the potential to come up with the winning design uh, to go through to the final round and only those designers can submit concepts in the final round and what we've introduced there is the idea of uh, finalist payment so as well as the winning designer all of the designers that 
uh, make it to the final round, they receive uh, a small share of the prize as well, and just in recognition of the fact that you know, they've put a lot of effort into the contest. Uh, so there are some other designers that get paid, uh, but for the, the people that didn't make it in the qualifying round, then yeah, they, they don't get anything and uh, basically, uh, you know, it's about moving on to the next contest and showing that uh, you can do uh, perhaps a, a better job with the next one. Okay, uh, any more questions from that side? Up in the other question, I said. I said, 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 I But uh, you, what you have to do, you have to prove uh, 
on the fly. You don't have to uh, have to have a uh, big portfolio. You have to have a big uh, background. So that uh, that's all. And I am going to show you the most important thing. Chapter one, I am going to meet up with Anish Kumar. She is going to be basic, basic order. Car car on Bazaar. She is going to be very very good. So I am going to show you the most important thing. Our four days, we are going to show you the most important thing. Our four days, we are going to show you the most important thing. एवं एर मध्य में आम्र बांग्लादेश का एक और पुरुषों को कोनो भालू डिजाइनर कम्युनिटी नहीं, आम्र आशा करते हैं आगामी साल तक के आम्र बांग्लादेश का भालू डिजाइनर कम्युनिटी स्टार्ट कर दो, एवं जाते करे एक ना ज़्यादा डिजाइनर आते, जाते टोपर टेलीविज़न रोल में, जाते कोनो बांग्लादेश को डिजाइनर जाते Which area? Kumila town. I am from Chandni. Wow. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. Give me your personal number. This is sorry, I don't have card at all right now. Give me your personal number. Zero one six one six. I have your car. Sorry, I don't have it right now. 0166172-4385. May I have your cell phone number, please? 0166172-4385. I'm on my cell phone. Just this is the one six one six side. Three zero four. It's Amar. Oh, okay. Our number is Chakra. Our nickname Masood. I can't remember the other one. Okay, okay. Sir, Masood Bhai, let me sit for you. Yeah, Masood Bhai, let me sit for you. Our number, please. Our side full. Side full. So you're going to cut this, right? Sorry, brother. We're going to cut this. Okay, this is our number. Mobile number. Zero one six one six. Six one six. Seven two. Seven two. Four three. Four three eight five. नंबर 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 साइकिल जीरो वन सिक्स वन सिक्स सेवेन टू फोर थ्री एट नंबर नंबर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सेवेन अपना नंबर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट 
বা আমাদের এরকম কোন প্রোডাক্ট আমরা ক্রিয়েট করব না বা এরকম কোন সার্ভিস দেব না যাতে সবাই আমাদের চিনে এই ধরনের যে প্ল্যান ছিল স্বপ্ন ছিল জানা ওইসব ওইসব হাইড্রো ডোর সামথিং দ্যাট উইল ক্রিয়েট এ বাচ দ্যাট উইল ক্রিয়েট এ বাচ ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইড নট ওনলি ইন বাংলাদেশ তো সেই থেকে শুরু সেই থেকে আমরা জেস্টিনের পথে চলার আমরা পাঁচ জন মিলে প্ল্যান করলাম যে না शुरू
আপনি যখন একটা কোম্পানি করেন যেখানে তিন থেকে চারজন মানুষ থাকে আপনার দায়িত্বটা আরেকজন নিতে পারে তখন আপনি জানেন যে কাস্টমারকে আপনি আসলে সার্ভিস দিতে পারবেন আপনি অসুস্থ হলেও মূলত ব্যবসা বড় যখন হয় তখন চার পাঁচজনকে আমরা একসাথে নিয়ে আসি যে কটা প্রয়োজন একটা হচ্ছে তো ব্যবসা বড় করবো তাই অবশ্যই আরেকটা বড় জিনিস থাকে সেটা হচ্ছে যাতে কাস্টমারকে আমরা স্যাটিসফাই করতে পারি আর সেখানে কিন্তু এন্টারপ্রিনিয়র তৈরি হয় উদ্যোক্তা তৈরি হয় যে মনে করে যে আমি পাঁচজনকে চাকরি দেব যে মনে করে যে আমি আরো বড় হব আমার একার থেকে পাঁচজন মিলে কাজ করলে অনেক বড় হতে পারে আমাদের এখানে যারা আছেন তারা সবাই খুবই সাকসেসফুল এন্টারপ্রিনিয়র এবং তাদের প্রত্যেকের কথা শুনে আমি শিওর যে আপনারা অনেক ইন্সপায়ার্ড যে সামনে আপনারা এগিয়ে যাবেন আমি শুধুমাত্র আমাদের বেসিসের পক্ষ থেকে আমরা চাই আপনারা উদ্যোক্তা তৈরি হন এবং উদ্যোক্তা হয়ে আমাদের সাথে আমাদের অ্যাসোসিয়েশনে আসেন যেখানে আমরা একসাথে বাংলাদেশের চেহারাটা পাল্টে দিতে পারি কিছু কিছু ক্ষেত্রে আমরা বেসিস থেকে সাহায্য করতে যারা নতুন উদ্যোক্তা হচ্ছেন তাদেরকে তাহলে আমি মনে করছি যে এই এই জায়গায় যেটা যারা আপনারা ফ্রিল্যান্সার আছেন যারা ব্যবসা শুরু করতে যাচ্ছেন ব্যবসা বলতে যারা একটা কোম্পানি করতে যাচ্ছেন তাদেরকে আমি কিভাবে সাহায্য করি সেগুলো নিয়ে একটু কথা বলবো প্রথম যে জিনিসটা হচ্ছে আপনারা জানেন যেহেতু উদ্যোক্তা যখন হয় একটা ট্রেড লাইসেন্স লাগে আপনি যখন একটা ব্যবসা শুরু করবেন আপনার একটা ট্রেড লাইসেন্স লাগে আপনার একটা ব্যাপে সার্টিফিকেট লাগে একটা ট্যাক্সের টি সার্টিফিকেট লাগে সাধারণত বিদেশে ব্যবসা করার ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের এগুলো সবসময় প্রয়োজন হয় না বাংলাদেশে যখন আপনি আমাদের সাথে আসবেন অথবা দেশে যখন একটা সংগঠন বা নিজে একটা কোম্পানি খুলবেন এরকম কিছু কাগজপত্র লাগে বেসিস থেকে আমরা সবসময় সাহায্য করি আপনাদেরকে যদি কখনো এগুলোর ব্যাপারে কোনো সহযোগিতা দরকার হয় আমাদের বেসিসে কারো আমাদের অফিস খোলা আপনাদের জন্য সবাইকে আমরা চাব এসে এন্টারপ্রেনর হওয়ার জন্য যে কোনো সহযোগিতা চান চলে আসুন सहयोग ব্যাংক বলে আপনার বিজনেস প্রপোজাল ব্যাংক বলে আপনার মার্কেটিং প্রপোজাল ব্যাংক দেখতে চায় যে আপনার গত চার ছয় মাসের ব্যাংকের স্টেটমেন্ট এবং এই ধরনের কাগজপত্রগুলো ব্যাংক দেখতে চায় এবং আমাদের দেশে বেশিরভাগ এসএমই অথবা বেশিরভাগ উদ্যোক্তাই শেষ মুহূর্তে এই কাগজগুলো দেখাতে পারে না আমরা বেসিস থেকে বিভিন্ন সময় আমাদের যারা মেম্বার তাদেরকে সার্ভিস দেই যাতে এই কাগজগুলো ঠিকমতো তারা মেইনটেইন করে যাতে তারা ব্যাংক থেকে সঠিক সময় লোনটা নিতে পারে আর যে এই যে কোন আমরা যাব যে আপনারা একজন এন্টারপ্রেনর যখন তৈরি হবেন বেসিসে এসে এই সহযোগিতা নিয়ে যাতে ব্যাংক থেকে ফাইনান্স পান এবং আপনার ব্যবসাকে বড় করতে পারেন এরপর আমি কথা বলবো যেটা এখানে সবাই আলোচনা করলো আমি চেষ্টা করব বিষয়বস্তু গুলো সাম আপ করার জন্য যাতে আপনাদেরকে সারা দিন যা শুনেছেন 10টা পয়েন্ট জানতে পারি যে একজন ইয়ান এন্টারপ্রেনর যখন আপনি হবেন ফ্রিল্যান্সার থেকে নিজে একা কাজ করছিলেন এবার চারজন মিলে কাজ করবেন তখন কোন কোন বিষয়গুলোতে খেয়াল রাখতে হবে প্রথম যে বিষয়ে খেয়াল রাখতে হবে নিজের মধ্যে ঘন্টা বাজবে এইবার আমি ব্যবসা করব আমি চার পাঁচ জন নিয়ে একটা কোম্পানি খুলব যদি এটা বেশি আগে হয়ে যায় কোম্পানি ডুবে যাবে বেশি পরে হয়ে গেলে আপনি আফসোস করবেন কারণ একটা সময় আসবে যখন আপনি বুঝবেন যে আপনার ব্যবসা যে পরিমাণ হচ্ছে আপনি একা সেটা কমপ্লিট করতে পারেন না সাথে আরেকজন থাকলে আপনার পার্থক্য এবং দুই জনকে টেনে নিয়ে যাওয়ার মতো আয় আপনি করেন তখন আপনি আসলে সিদ্ধান্ত নিলেন যে আপনি একটা ব্যবসা শুরু করবেন আর তখন তো বেশি বাসি আপনি কাজ করতে পারবেন না প্রথম যে জিনিসটা যেটা এখানে বলা হয়েছে যে একটা টার্গেট ঠিক করতে হবে আপনাকে যে আপনি ঠিক করবেন যে ঠিক আছে এই যে আমার টার্গেট এবং আমি এটা ভালো এবং আমি এই ব্যবসাটা করব এই হচ্ছে আমার কোম্পানির নাম সবার জন্য কোম্পানির নাম অলরেডি মনে মনে ঠিক করা আছে তো সবাই ব্যবসা করতে চান কারণ কোম্পানির নাম মনে মনে থেকে একটা কাজ নিয়ে শুরু করতে হবে এবং টার্গেট করবে আমি এটা করব আমাদের সম্পর্কে বিদেশীদের সবচেয়ে বড় সব সময় যেটা ধারণা যে আমরা সব পাই তাই আমরা লিখি হচ্ছে আমাদের কোম্পানির নাম এবিসি নিচে লিখে সব পাই তো আপনাদের ঠিক করতে হবে আপনারা ঠিক কোন কোন কাজটার ব্যাপারে নিজেকে প্রস্তুত করবেন ফ্রিল্যান্সার হিসেবে কি কিছু ছিলেন কোম্পানি যখন করবেন আপনি কিছু কিছু লক্ষ্য রাখবেন যে কি ধরনের ব্যবসা আপনি আনবেন এরপরে মার্জিন যেটা বলেছেন খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট ছিল যে হয়তো কোম্পানি শুরু করবে দুইজন দিয়ে কিন্তু আমাদের লক্ষ্যটা থাকবে বড় 
সকল ইউনিভার্সিটির কাছে সবার মধ্যে থেকে তিন টাইমের থেকে গুরুত্ব পড়ে বাট এর আগে আমি একটা ইনফরমেশনের মাধ্যমে প্রশ্ন করব এর জন্য সবার দৃষ্টি আকর্ষণ করতে হবে তারা সকল পেলে আছে একটু দ্রুত আচ্ছা একটু দ্রুত আমি বলবো এখন আমরা প্রায় শুনতে ছিলাম 1 থেকে 2000 মানুষ এখন সবই চলে গেছে হয়তো 1000 মতো আছে আজকে এই অনুষ্ঠানের পর আমরা যদি সবাই বাসায় গিয়ে ফ্রিল্যান্সার বা ওডেস বা কোথাও যদি বিট করি আমরা নিজেরাই নিজেদের কম্পিউটার হয়ে যাচ্ছি যার ফলে দেখা যাচ্ছে অনেক ধরনের প্রশ্ন কিন্তু উঠেছে যে 200 ডলারের মধ্যে 30 ডলার কেন না দিচ্ছে যেমন এসইও ডলারের কথা বলেছে আমি ম্যাক্সিমাম নিজে একজন ফ্রিল্যান্সার এবং আমি একজন উদ্যোক্তা বটে আমার আন্ডারে এখন 25 জন লোক কাজ করছে আশা করি